Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Larry Taylor. I'm joined with my co-host today, Amy Fox. Amy Fox is the Communications Director for the Multnomah County Democrats, a precinct committee person, and I believe you're a, D a State Central DPO delegate to the State Central Committee. My name is Larry Taylor. I've had a number of roles in the Democratic Party over the past couple of years, including uh, I, I'm currently on the DPO Rules Committee. I am chair of the Clatsop County Democrats. Uh, I've been to the last couple of conventions. And um, I am the co-host of Progressive Oregon Livestream Broadcast, and which is uh, uh, a live stream broadcast produced by Uphill Media, which is who we're using today. Uh, and I'm also the director of uh, Advancement of Democracy. So uh, if you did not donate, um, uh, just be aware that uh, the, the cost of this event is going to be about $1,000. And so uh, using the Bernie Sanders model, we'd appreciate anything that you would like to give to us. $5, you know, the, co the cost of a, a macchiato latte would be um, great if everyone who watched this uh, show either today live or uh, in the recorded uh, live stream that will exist after today uh, gave us that money, we could easily cover our costs. And you can do that at donate.uphillmedia.org. So the agenda for this afternoon, we will be talking about precinct committee persons, your role, um, precinct committee persons, your rights, uh, elections in which you need to participate, the 2018 platform, and why you should be excited about being a Democrat in Oregon, and the 2020 Democratic National Convention, of which the planning is already underway. But first, we have a quiz. All right. So, um, so the question number one is, the role of a precinct committee person is to? And the three options is, be a good foot soldier and follow orders, carry out the agenda of the Democratic National Committee, you know, or represent the Democrats in their precinct. So how many people think it's to be a good foot soldier? Raise your hand. Who thinks it's to carry out the agenda of the Democratic National Committee? Raise your hand. <laughs> Nobody's raising their hand. Who thinks it's to represent the Democrats in their precinct? You are correct. <laughs> well done, well done. Okay, next question. The ultimate power in a democratic organization belongs to? And the options are the chair, the executive committee, and the people uh, who are members of the organization. So who believes that the, that the ultimate power belongs to the chair? Raise your hand. If you think it belongs to the executive committee, raise your hand. And if you believe it's the people that are the members of the organization, please raise your hand. And again, you are correct. And the next one, it gets into a little bit of uh, democracy and procedures. Who approves the agenda and decides when the meeting is adjourned? And this relates to something we'll be talking about a little bit later. So the options are the chair, the executive committee, or the people who are members of the organization. So who thinks it's the chair who approves the agenda and adjourns the meeting? Who thinks it's the executive committee who does this? Raise your hand. And who thinks it belongs to the people or members of the organization? The answer again is number three. So to present the first segment, Amy's going to talk about uh, precinct committee persons and their role. So what is a PCP? And so you guys are all n newly elected, right, PCPs, and you're here saying, yay, I have now won an election, so now what, right? Um, you were elected, and in, in some cases appointed, uh, to represent within the Democratic Party the Democrats within your precinct, um, specifically 500 of them. Your position is registered with the county's election department, and if you were elected, you cannot be removed unless it's by recall. And you take office June 8th, which is uh, coming up, uh, 2018. So you should. What should a precinct committee? Pre yes. Is this presentation available afterwards? Yes. Yes. Absolutely, all of it. So you'll have 
all of this. So what should you do? So you didn't just become a PCP so that you could see your name on the ballot, right? Um, you, if that was your goal, then you've done it. Congratulations and uh, yay. Um, but we're hoping that uh, you became a PCP because there is something that is a burning desire within you that you would like to see happen. And you recognize the value of your energy, your focus, your presence to make this democratic process what it is, right? So. Um, what do you do is you've got to build relationships with the Democrats that you represent, the people around you, your neighbors, right, to, to get them. We, Multnomah County had a, like a 30 percent, Democrats 40 percent turnout in the last election. And a lot of people just don't feel comfortable voting. They don't know uh, who to vote for. Um, so they don't turn in their ballots. They're intimidated by the process. And so your job is, is to really Get people engaged, voting at the very least, and hopefully even active, doing something. And it turns out that this is a relationship game. This isn't about just um, showing, showing up and, and not continuing. You've got to connect with people. Because people, it turns out, they, they, don't, they don't vote for just an idea. They vote for a person, and they won't cast their ballots unless they believe in it. So. You need to help them come to the table. We need to bring these people back to the table. Um, let's see. So you're also, as a PCP, voting for officers and delegates that represent you, right? So that represent your ideals, what you believe in. And you're informing the Democrats on candidates running for office. So your job is to get out there and say, hey, have you heard of, I'm looking around, let's see. For Dorothy, for Congress, have you heard of? Let's see, I don't see any others. Um, with but, and you're you're there to talk about the people that are running and why you're excited about them, um, and then to to make sure people vote, however possible, because it turns out that this is this is really a numbers game of if people show up and vote then we the people win. It's when people believe that they don't have a voice, they believe that their participation is meaningless, that's when we lose. Because when people show up and they're informed and they cast their ballot, it works out in our favor. And our goal is, is to make it so that at every county level, we build enough people that are out there, that are voting, that we get to that 50 plus one. Because it turns out that our elected officials are thinking in terms of getting reelected. They're thinking of the next cycle. So we need to be able to engage enough people so that we are the 50 plus one. And then all of a sudden, our elected officials are, they're talking to us. They're coming to us. And they care about what we think and what we say. And therefore, they're going to make sure that what we want is made into the law of the land. So that's your job, to help make help make that happen. Am I done? Yes. Uh, do we have any questions for the line? No. Oh. And do we have any questions from the room? Anybody? Okay. Oh, yes. What does it mean to use some office? What happens? Can we get something? Oh, yes. So the, uh, the county clerks, this is the most precinct committee piece, per persons that have, have been, run for office in decades. So uh, the, the, ver the 36 counties in Oregon are currently certifying who got elected. Uh, typically, counties send you a notification that you were elected to office. Uh, like in my county, in Clatsop County, they're going to send me a certificate saying that I'm a, an official precinct committee person. Uh, you should receive notification from your uh, county organization of when your meetings are because one of your rights as a precinct per committee person is to be informed of your meetings uh, so you can attend and start getting involved. Will that happen before June 8th? Uh, probably won't happen before June 8th. Um, and the county meetings are, uh, could be anywhere during the month. Uh, if you want to find out uh, when your county meeting is, I would advise going to the, you know, going to the internet and doing a Google search on your county. Uh, many of the counties have posted their, their meetings there. You can also find it at the Democratic Party of Oregon website, dpo.org, for some of the counties who list their meetings under events. Other questions? Yes? Uh, is there a map somewhere that describes what our actually 
Yes, and this is information that is controlled by the the county clerk. So uh, you might call your county elections office, and they could they could describe the best way to, to get that information to you. Um, if you're from Multnomah County, of course, uh, which county are you from? From Marion County. So the, the Marion County is much less dense, and so it's it's much easier to to get the delineation of your precinct. Uh, yes, in the back. I'm sorry, pardon? Write-in candidates. Uh, so the question is, what about write-in candidates? Um, uh, it is possible that if you if you had not registered to run for precinct committee person, you could be written in. So there was a slot in the ballot where you could write that in. If you received three ballots, you would uh, you you would be elected. Now there there's some caveats to that. Like John Knight is here today. John Knight, there's like uh, a dozen of them in Multnomah County, and they said, well, we don't know that that was they were all referring to you because they didn't use his full legal name. But um, if they can identify that you have been elected, then uh, you 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 will be have you will be an elected PCP. Is there any other questions? Yes. Yes, and so the comment from the audience was that uh, your county will will verify with you that you want to accept the position because they want to make sure that you actually want to be a PCP and it wasn't just five of your friends uh, toying with you. So uh, yes, they will ask for you to verify that you wanted to run for the position and then, then you'll be elected. Any other questions? Okay. Any other questions? Okay, well, we'll go to the next segment.